Hi everyone, I have a first impressions video for you guys today on the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation Oil Free. Um, the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, the original formula, was one of my favorite foundations. It was definitely not made for oily skin, but I was able to always make it work on my skin and I loved it and then they um, reformulated it. They took about they took out a lot of the parabens, a lot of the bad stuff, and then reformulated it, introduced it as two different formulas. There's an oil-free and a dry skin formula, and um, I have the oil-free one to show you guys today, or to demo for you guys today. So let's get started. So I just took a shower, and I put on my moisturizer and my primer and I am going to do a first impressions. This is what my face looks like after a shower because it's really heat sensitive. Um, and I kind of just scratched my forehead right there. But anyway, again, the foundation that I'm going to be testing out is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Foundation. This is actually just a little sample that I got from Sephora. I asked for a sample because I didn't want to purchase a full size because it is expensive. I think it's around the 44, almost $50 range for a one ounce bottle of foundation, which is a standard amount, but it's just, again, it's Laura Mercier, so it is expensive. And I loved the old formula so much that I didn't want to purchase a new one in case it was not the same. Um, so yeah, the color that they matched me to in store was ivory. What I did notice is that the color that I was in in the old Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation formula was absolutely different than the new colorings. I think the old range had about six colors. The new range has about, I want to say 10 or 12. So there are far more colors, but they didn't translate the old colorings to the new colorings. So that was a little annoying. So um, yeah, the color that they matched me to is ivory. I got these little samples. You are always able to ask for samples at Sephora, especially for foundations. And they give them to you in these little um, plastic pots. And she gave me two. And um, I feel like this is two or maybe three good uses. So what I'm going to do is use my beauty blender to apply this. Um, the primer that I use is the Laura Mercier Oil Free. And that's the primer that I've always used. And we'll see how this goes. So it is scented. Um, not in a like fragranced way it is it smells like it actually smells similar to the old one and sort of like mac foundations they have that sort of like acrylic paint sort of smell to them which is not great uh the consistency is on the thicker side it's not super thick it's still got some liquid like liquidness to it the old one was definitely a very creamy consistency it was not it wasn't very liquid it was it was heavy um, and because of that it gave a really heavy coverage so I'm hoping this is very similar um, and so let's see how this goes I am just going to I have that on my sponge it's really hard to like get this out of there um, and just start dotting this on my face I want to say the color of this is a little bit lighter than MAC NC25. I am a MAC NC25 in the MAC color range, so it is going to be a little bit light as you can see. Um, it's blending down my neck pretty well though. This is definitely a pretty heavy coverage. I would say I had about a dime to a nickel size amount of the product on my sponge and you can see I look ridiculous right now. You can see how... Um, much product this is actually going to disperse onto my face. So this, these samples actually, I probably have like six or seven uses out of the two samples that they gave me. But it is a pretty heavy coverage. You can see how quickly that covered my face. Like, how different does that look? This is obviously, again, going to be a little bit too light, but I do have bronzer and stuff that I can mix into it so it'll be okay we'll figure it out actually compared to my hand I feel like it's not as light as it could be so it's light 
but we'll deal with it. I'll just blend it down pretty far today. <laughs> this is a little... That was also, I feel like, way too much foundation. So, good news is this is this a little bit of this foundation will go a very, very long way. Um, this is definitely very, very heavy coverage. And again, I know it looks ridiculous because it is super, super light. I'm going to blend this into my ears a little bit. The thing is, though, in person, it definitely does not look as starkly... Yeah, here. So I just turned off two of the studio lights, and it definitely looks better blended to my skin than it did before. But let me turn them back on just for makeup's sake. So I don't know if that means that this foundation picks up light very, very, very well, or if it's just like super reflective. That is the foundation when it's on my skin. Aside from the whole, it doesn't really match my face thing. Aside from the fact that it's a little bit too light, um, it's a very, very heavy coverage. I happened to have loved the old formula and how like heavy coverage it was. So in that sense, it definitely has the same coverage. It's a little bit more liquidy than the original formula, which I said before. I liked the old formula texture though. Similarly to the old formula, it does, however, look like makeup on my skin. It doesn't look as flawless. And that has, this has nothing to do with the fact that the color is different. Um, it doesn't look as flawless as other makeups like the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel or even my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint or the MAC Pro Longwear. Those look, if you don't layer those too heavily, those can look very flawless on the skin. This one is definitely sitting on my skin and not blending in as well as the other ones do. But that was one of the things that I liked about the old formula in that if I wanted a heavy coverage, I knew I could go to the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and get that when I needed it. Um, I feel like it's starting to sink into my skin a little bit better so it's not as like starkly way too bright. I have a very oily T-zone area but I do have some dry patches around my skin and it is catching a little bit to some of the dry patches that I have so that is something you want to look out for if you have combination skin like I do. Um, it's not as easy of a foundation to work on to dry skin patches if you just if you have combo skin, which is really annoying. Um, I know I've recently started noting that in the foundations that I use because I've I've kind of transferred over to a more combo skin. But anyway, I am going to apply the rest of my face makeup and my eye makeup and let you guys know how it applies on top of this makeup. It doesn't feel too sticky on the skin. There is a little bit of tackiness, but it's not like annoying. Um, and otherwise, I feel like it's set down pretty quickly. Even with the makeup sponge, I could I learned how to work quick with this guy, and it has set down a little bit more quickly than I thought it was, so that's kind of nice just to know that it won't budge too much from this. But yeah, since it is such a like heavy coverage foundation, I feel like I'm not going to need as much concealer. I do have a couple of blemishes around my chin. I have one right here and it like hurts. Um, but that like spot on my forehead that I had scratched that was super red, I feel like that's gone. So that's really good news that it is, again, pretty heavy coverage like the old formula. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put on the rest of my face makeup and I will let you guys know how it looks. Right now it is two, right now it is 2.08 and so um, it's probably going to take me like 10 minutes, 15, it's probably going to take me around 20 minutes to get the rest of my makeup on because I'm going to be watching a movie while I do it and I had the day off today. So I have the rest of my makeup on. I really honestly think it's the lights. It's like, it's like too much light on my face and it looks ridiculous. Um, let me just blend this out because now I feel like a clown. Um, so makeup sits really well on top of it, um, of the foundation. It's still pretty comfortable. It still feels really nice. I'm going to set it with some Urban Decay makeup setting spray because that's just what I normally do anyway. The bronzer that I used is the NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. I used a little bit of my MAC Mineral Ice Skin Finish in Petticoat as a blush. Again, it's not this shiny in person. It's 
for sure the lights. Um, I use my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Powder in Opal for a highlight, and then just a bunch of shadows. <laughs> my Too Faced um, Chocolate Bar Shadows palette for my eyes. Um, so yeah, right now it is 2.48, took way longer to put my makeup on than I thought it would, um, but I am just going to go run some errands, film a video, and I will show you guys how the foundation's holding up after all of that. Um, so yeah. So it is 10.10. 10. Um, I realized I didn't do like a mid day check-in, but I went to the Apple store and then I met up with my friends and then we went and got dinner and it just, we didn't really do very much and I did check on my makeup in the middle of the day, but it just, it didn't really budge so I didn't really film anything and I forgot. But anyway, I, um, eight full hours later after putting the foundation itself on, I am doing a final end of the day checkup for you guys and honestly, it looks really, really good. Um, again kind of obvious that it is a little bit light. Um, I think after I powdered, it definitely helped to blend into my skin a little bit more, but it is a pretty light color, so I am going to have to get a shade darker if I do get it the full size of this foundation. Um, but the foundation itself is holding up really well. On my chin, there is a little bit of fading, um, so it's just, it started to, to a little bit. Um, around my nose it is starting to get a little bit oily and there's no oiliness on my forehead really. I can turn off some lights for you guys so you can see exactly how oily it is. So really not that bad especially in this area it's you know it's a little bit shiny. My chin's not shiny it's just faded and then there's not very much shininess in my forehead so that's actually a really good sign for this foundation. The weather today, it wasn't super hot, um, and so it wasn't really humid, and I didn't do a lot of like strenuous stuff today, so um, given that, I think during hot weather it probably will fade a little bit more, it'll, you know, it'll be harder for oil to be kept at bay, but today in general I think it did a really good job for 8 hours of wear. Uh, the makeup, again, sat pretty well on top of that. My blush, my bronzer, that hasn't really faded either. As for how it feels, it doesn't feel itchy like some matte foundations can be. It doesn't feel really dry or tight. Um, so it's a comfortable foundation to wear. So this foundation for me does get a pass. Um, it is expensive. It's it's the $40 to $50 range. It's a Sephora product. It's a Laura Mercier product. So it's not something that I was expecting to be inexpensive, but I do like it. Um, again, the formula is different from the original. The original Silk Cream Foundation was definitely a very heavy cream consistency. It wasn't as, um, it's not like this one is liquidy, but it wasn't as wet as this foundation is. There are two formulas. There's an oily formula and a dry skin formula, and I use the oily formula today. I don't know how the dry skin formula is going to work, but I I have heard that the oily skin formula is supposed to be more of like the the dupe or the carry through from the, the original formula. Um, the original formula wasn't necessarily made for oily skin though. It was definitely more of like a luminous foundation. When I wore it, especially in the summer, it held up fine on me, but it did get a little bit oily. It was great for dry skin from what I saw from other people on YouTube. Like I know Elle Fowler, she has really, really dry skin and that's her favorite, like one of her favorite foundations, I think. Um, and it was a really heavy coverage foundation um, and she loved it. So I liked the old, old formula for me, even though I have oily skin, um, but it wasn't for everyone. But I do think that this is a pretty good oily skin foundation. Is it a complete dupe from the old version? No, it's not because they have changed the formula. They took out a lot of ingredients. Um, it's not the same consistency. It doesn't really do exactly the same thing, but it is a heavy coverage foundation and it's good for oily skin and it holds up pretty well. Um, so yeah, it gets a thumbs up from me. Um, the shade range is better than it was before, but it's not great. Um, it doesn't go super, super light and it doesn't go super, super deep. So I think it, it pretty much goes from like medium light, not totally fair, like a medium light through the medium shades to a sort of 
deep tan. It doesn't go super, super dark. I know Ishani, Total Makeup Junkie 101, we were actually talking about this a couple, a couple weeks back and I said, oh, they reformulated it. Like, um, they might have a deeper shade because she wanted to try the original formula of the Silk Cream Foundation, but there wasn't a shade for her. And she says that there's still, like, it still doesn't match her skin tone. So that's kind of a bummer that the, like, there's a very, very high percentage of people that can't use this foundation because it just doesn't match their skin. So I do wish that um, this, you know, that Laura Mercier and a lot of other brands like Benefit, for example, do go into a more thorough skin range, but that's something I can't really change. Um, so yeah, I happen to like this foundation. I think it's a great skin I think it's a great foundation for oily skin if you guys are looking for it. Again, the shade that I got is in ivory. Um, I think it is a little bit light. I think deep in the winter this will probably be good for me. If they have a shade that's slightly darker then it will probably be good for me but I doubt like it's gonna. I feel like the next shade down is gonna be a little bit too dark so we'll see. Um, Am I going to purchase a full size of this? Possibly, but also I have, um, like the samples they gave me, they gave me two of these little pots and I barely used any of this first pot. So they, they gave me like a good amount of foundation in these samples. So we'll see if I purchase a full size. If I do, I will let you guys know in a haul or something. But other than that, that is the video. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good day. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, I, on my blog, by the way, have a list of all of the foundations that I've tried and all of the colors that match my skin. So if you guys are interested in that, I will put the direct link down below so you guys can see it. Um, and I'll include this one as well. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys soon.